In this tutorial, we will take a look at two third-party tools that make it very easy to install certain web browser plugins, extra features, and other third-party applications. Now, Ubuntu Linux, like most Linux distributions, use the idea of software repositories, which are online servers to maintain software additional software, new and, and updated and third-party software for your Ubuntu Linux distribution. So rather than going to a particular website and downloading it from a website, one would do all their downloading from Ubuntu using a couple of different tools. One can either use the add remove graphical tool in applications to add or remove some of the most popular pieces of software for Ubuntu Linux. One can also use uh, the Synaptic Package Manager available in the administration submenu of the system menu to browse all of the packages, all 20,000 plus packages that are available for Ubuntu Linux. And there are two third-party tools that make it very easy in a graphical environment to download and install some of the most popular little bits and pieces that, that kind of make a desktop system complete. The first one is called, at the time of this recording, is called Easy Ubuntu, and the second one is called Automatics. Now, it's very important to note right off the top that both of these tools are third-party tools created by the community. They are not supported by Ubuntu at all. There is a potential that they could mess up one system, uh, so there should be great caution taken in using either of these two third-party tools. Additionally, I would not use them both. I would choose one or the other. Mixing up repositories can sometimes lead to system instability. Now, having said those caveats, however, many, many millions of Ubuntu users use either or, or sometimes both of these tools, and they work very well. And they do an excellent job of, of making it very easy to install some of the necessary bits and pieces that we all like to have. So. Uh, this tutorial, we will talk about these two tools very briefly. Easy Ubuntu is the first. Easy Ubuntu is a, it's a download. It's sort of the exception to the rule that we do download something directly from this website and install it. And it will then add a very easy graphical tool in our menus to enable some, some third party applications. For example, what this does is, it says here is if you want to play uh, MP3s, rip DVDs, play some certain video games, what it does is it, it makes it very easy to install some additional packages. Here's an overview of what Easy Ubuntu can install. It's as you, here's a picture of the graphical tool. This is what it looks like for multimedia. It can in, in, it can install a video player, some of the codecs, the non-free, the proprietary. Uh, video codecs, some proprietary video and audio codecs can give you the ability to play regular DVDs if you live in a country that where that's not illegal. It um, it can download and install the real player uh, player for you. It can install the Flash plugin for the web browser, Java. It can install some archiving tools. It can add some some nice fonts, Microsoft fonts. Uh, to your system. It can install the proprietary video drivers for NVIDIA or ATI video cards, and it can uh, do some voice over IP applications as well. Uh, so Easy Ubuntu, it, again, is a very nice little system and it's very easy to install. What one does is clicks on this download tab and it has very simple instructions. It's really a two-step process. It simply says that what you do is you download the Easy Ubuntu script here and before double clicking it, you need to run this command in the terminal. So let's do that first. We will click here to download the Easy Ubuntu software. We will just save it to the disk first. We will click OK. And it has downloaded that software. And then it tells us to run this command in the terminal. So what we will do is highlight this, do a control C for copy, and actually in Linux, highlighting something automatically copies it, so you don't actually need to do control C. But let's open up the terminal, which is where uh, one has to go to type these, these type of commands. And we will do a control V or a middle button to paste, and it will ask us for our administrator password. 
what this is doing is it's downloading a, a PGP key. Now, once that is done, we can click on this little button here to show the desktop. We will now double click on what we just downloaded. A package that has a .deb after it is a Debian package. Debian is the Linux distribution upon which Ubuntu is based. So we will click here to install the package. We'll ask us for our password again. And it will start installing the Easy Ubuntu package. Okay, once it is installed, click close. We can close this little installer. And now that the package is installed, you can, if you wish, delete this package. That would be kind of like the zip file. And now, under Applications, under System Tools, there is an Easy Ubuntu icon. Clicking on that will bring up the Easy Ubuntu graphical tool. And there it is. You can see that one can select to install some of the proprietary codecs for watching video uh, or listening to audio, the uh, software needed to play your legally purchased DVDs. You can enable the Flash plugin for your browser, Java, Skype, which is a voice over IP software, uh, some archiving tools, and some system tools, including fonts, NVIDIA, and ATI video drivers. So that is Easy Ubuntu, and it's a very nice little tool to make some of those things very easy to do. Automatics, I won't go through that in this tutorial, but it's a very similar process to the Easy Ubuntu. It's something that you download and install. Automatics has many more things that it can install, many more than Easy Ubuntu does. You can see that there's a there's a big long list of categories here, and there's there's many other applications, including Google Earth and game and, and many other handy applications that people may like to have. So those two tools are not officially supported and uh, definitely uh, should be used with some caveats, n knowing that, you know, just to be careful and that things could always break the system. But many people use these tools every day uh, with great success, and they do make installing some of these applications much easier. So that is the end of this tutorial. Thank you very much.